Hello, and welcome to another product video from Cubitech. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at Cubitech's CC1 coincidence counter, a low-cost handheld coincidence counter developed specifically for quantum optics applications. So let's start with what the CC1 does and why it does it. Quantum optics is all about studying how single photons behave. To detect single photons, we use special detectors that produce a short electrical pulse whenever they detect a single photon. The CC1 adds up these electrical pulses to determine exactly how many photons are detected within a certain time frame. This type of a measurement is called a singles count because it reflects how many single photons the detector measured. For many experiments though, what we're really interested in is coincidence rates. To measure coincidence rates, two detectors are used to measure photons coming from an optical experiment. Whenever a photon is measured in the first detector, while simultaneously a photon is measured in the second detector, well, that's what we call a coincidence event. If these two detectors are plugged into the CC1, the unit will record both the singles rate for each detector and the coincidence rate between them. So, in a nutshell, the CC1 measures the singles and the coincidence rates for two detectors. What are some of the features of the unit? Well, first the unit is powered over a USB cable, which can either be attached to a computer or to an AC power adapter. And it has a backlit LCD screen for use in a darkened lab. The display shows one of two screens, either the count screen or the menu screen. And the user can toggle between these two screens by pressing the menu button on the front of the unit. The count screen is pretty simple. It just displays the singles and coincidence rates for the two attached detectors. In the menu screen, this is where all the parameters of the coincidence measurement are established. Now, I'm not going to go through all the different setup parameters, but if you download the CC1 manual from the Cubitech website, you'll find that it offers most of the features typical to coincidence counters. One feature, however, that is unique, and I really do want to mention it here, is the subtract accidentals option. Typically, accidental counts, which are a result of non-quantum events, are calculated and subtracted from data after it has been collected. If you don't want to do that, the CC1 can calculate and subtract these for you in real time. This can be particularly helpful for certain alignment processes where accidental counts can actually obscure the true coincidence rate. All of the features and data available on the CC1 are also accessible over the USB channel. A simple set of serial commands can be used with third-party software like LabVIEW and Visual Basic to control the CC1 and acquire count data. Now, the CC1 doesn't have the extreme precision of a high-end general-purpose coincidence counter. However, for most quantum optics experiments, it's going to be a great alternative, and it's going to cost a whole lot less. In addition, it has one really big advantage, and that is that the CC1 is an open-source platform technology, which means that you can program it to do pretty much whatever you want it to do. The product ships pre-programmed with the features described in this video, but if you look inside the device, you'll find that there's a field programmable gate array, or an FPGA, and there's a microprocessor. The microprocessor controls the user interface and serial communications. The FPGA controls the high-speed coincidence counting. Both of these devices can be reprogrammed to make the device function in a completely different way. The schematics for the boards, the chip pinouts, the FPGA and microprocessor source code, all of that stuff is included with the device or it can be downloaded from Cubitech's website. So in summary, three things make the CC1 unique. First, it has been designed specifically for quantum optics applications. Second, it is a low-cost alternative to existing products. And third, it is completely configurable and runs off open source firmware available from Cubitech's website. For more information on the CC1 and other products offered by Cubitech, please check out the company's website at www.cubitech.com.